<clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Can everybody hear me? Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing? Hey, hey, man, your boy just turned 30. Well, I turned 30 on the 5th, but I'm going to be out of town, so I'm not going to be able to stream. So I want this stream to be here early. So um, I turned 30 on the 5th. So, <clears throat> man, your boy getting old, man. Your boy is getting old. I can't even believe it, y'all. Nice and clear. Dale B, yes, sir. Nice and clear, nice and clear. So we're trying to get some conversations today. Hopefully for my birthday, we can get the Injil. I would love for a Muslim to show me where the original Injil is. So you know what I'm going to do, man? We're going to go ahead and put this uh, stream link in the chat. For any Muslim that feels like they can give us the original Injil, man, that's what I want for my birthday, man. That'll be a good gift. The original NGO, ladies and gentlemen. And then also, too, we have an alt TikTok account up where we're going to get some Muslims in. Get you guys some action. Get you guys some entertainment. I'm supposed to be packing up right now, but you know what? I'm going to take out two hours of my time, man, to defend the kingdom, y'all. And tear down false doctrine. So let me do this here. Let me go into the live with my other account. And let's see here. We are going to log in here. Okay. Go to the channel. Getting old sucks, huh? <laughs> Hey, I will say this, okay? As you guys get older, exercise. Please exercise. Because, yes, your body does deteriorate the older you get. That is a fact. I remember when I was young and uh, I could, like... I had this whole theory about myself, like, man, my body heals fast. Um, you know, I'm always energetic. I'll never get tired running up and down stairs. I'll never. And then I started to get older. And then you start to realize, <laughs> oh, OK, I'm not always going to be this strong. I'm not always going to be this fast. I'm not always going to heal fast. Like, I remember the last time, like, I sprained my wrist. Yo, it took so long for my wrist to heal. Um, but when I was younger, I mean, you know, I would sprain things and it would be healed within about two weeks. Now, man, that stuff lingers for like a month or two. If that, I mean, it, 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 it sometimes even longer. Um, I just had like a bad crook in my neck and that thing lingered for about a month and a half. So uh, work out, eat healthy, get you some exercise. I promise you. <laughs> you will thank me. All right, so I just got the the link pinned at the top. Muslims only. There's the chat right there. If you want to come give me my uh birthday present, the link is at the top of the chat pinned. Uh what I want for my birthday is the original NGO from the Muslims. All right. Please, Muslims. <laughs> Give me the original NGO. We got Ahmad here. Ahmad, are you here to give me the original NGO, man? Oh, somebody said, hey, you grow a beer for Islam now. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe. No, nah, I'm just playing. No, nah, I just really always wanted a beer, man. Ahmad, how's it going? Uh, hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up, man? Okay. So, so you're asking about angel, right? 
Yes, I'm asking about the Angel. Can you give me the Angel for my birthday? Like, that's 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 my that's my present, man. I really want that as a present. I want that Angel, okay. man. Okay, so yeah, this is the case. So when we talk about the Angel, Quran, Torah, or Zabur, it is the word of God. That means God is the one talking. Right? If you go to the Quran, who is talking? It is the Allah is the one talking. So when we say Injil, it is the God is, is the one talking. That is the Elohim or Father should be the one talking. So now if you go to the New Testament, we all know who is the talking. It is the Mark, Luke, Matthew, John, Paul. These people are talking. So you cannot say this is the word of God. The New Testament has nothing to it. It cannot be word of God. It is the word of Paul, Peter, James, Mark, Matthew, Luke. This is the word of human. Right. So our opinion is when it comes to Injil, it should be the father speaking. So your New Testament has some of the word of God. Okay. Because if you open the New Testament in some places, father speaking. So that is the word of God. So New Testament has Injil. But New Testament, entire New Testament is not Injil. So you have to understand that first. Right. You cannot argue your New Testament, New Testament is word of God. If you say word of God, then Paul, Paul should be God too. Because most Wait of a the minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, so you said that the Bible is a little bit of the Angel? Yes, yes. By, because when you, when you come to the New Testament, it has Angel. That means Father is speaking. It has the Hadith. Hadith means Jesus speaking. That is equal to Hadith in Islam. Also, the disciple is speaking. Like Mark, Matthew, Luke. These are commentaries. Like we have the Ibn Abbas. Right? So, in Islam, we have the three separate books. We have the Quran, we have the Hadith, we have the Tafsir. When it comes to New Testament, you put everything in a single book and you call it Word of God. That is completely, completely All right, wrong. hold on. I mean, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to, for one, you're going to have to slow down for me a little bit. Okay. okay. Um, what in the world is that? Hold on. Uh, I guess that'll work. Yeah, you got to slow down for me a little bit, man, because uh, <laughs> I don't know what in the world you told me about the tafsir, hadith, and the Quran mix. What does okay. that have to do? What does that have to do with the question that I asked you? I said, does the uh, does the uh, excuse me, does the Bible contain parts of the Injil? Yeah, that's what I said. Um, let me repeat it. Okay, I'm telling when you go to the New Testament. It has in jail. Why do you? Why, why do Muslims do this, man? Hey, thank you for all the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I see them down here in the chat. Keep them coming, okay. man. It's making me happy because uh, about to get ready to get on this plane and go on my trip. Um, and my birthday is actually on April fifth, but I won't be near my equipment. And I wanted to go live with you guys with a clear camera, clear mic, instead of just being on the phone and stuff like that. So uh, I appreciate all the birthday wishes. Thank you. Keep them coming, man. I love it. God bless everybody. Ahmad, why do Muslims do this? Okay. Okay. Every single time I ask a Muslim a simple question that requires just like a yes or no, okay. you guys start elaborating on things that we didn't ask. I, okay. I'm like, like respectfully, bro, I did not ask you about the okay. Torah, the New okay. Testament, the okay. Old Testament. I didn't okay. ask you that yet. I just okay. asked you a simple okay. question. And okay. somebody told you, stop eating your mic, man. Maybe you need to get a better mic. I'm uh, <laughs> okay. But um, yes, please tell me where in the Gospels or the Injil is, wait, wait, where, excuse me, not where in the Gospels or the Injil, where in the Bible can you find the Injil? Because you said that you have part of the Injil, you know. Okay, well, where can we find part of the Injil? Let's start with that. And and stop okay. like you're talking really really fast, bro. So you gotta like slow down. Okay. So where can we find I, that? Okay. When I tell you the angel means the God speaking. So if you go to the Testament, where Father is speaking, that is angel. Okay. The Father is speaking, that is angel. Jesus speaking, that is hadith. If the companion is speaking, like Mark, Matthew, Luke, that becomes tafsir, the opinion. Okay. So whenever the your Father speaks. That is that that's what we call by definition that is in you. Okay. Hope you, hope you okay. So you said okay, so you said that uh give me the verse. 
Give me the verse and we'll pull it up and read it. What verse do you believe is the Injil left found in the Bible? Uh, excuse me, that in the Injil that you can find in the Bible, left yeah, over. I give, yeah, I gave you a definition, but uh, I just need to go and say it. Okay? That's mean, by definition, your father is thinking that you're saying Jesus. What? No. Ahmad, I'm not point. worried about. I'm not worried about a definition. I'm worried okay. about. I'm. I'm worried about what actually is the Injil. You brought up a verse. Let's go pull up that verse and let's go read it. What verse do you believe that's in the Bible is the Injil? No, I have to go and search because I need to find out where the Father is speaking to Jesus. That is the Injil. That's a, that's a, that's the Injil. Okay. Okay. So you said the you said okay. Give me the verse though. Do you know the verse or you just you got to give me something to work with, man? Yeah. Yes. But I need to go and search. That's what I'm telling. Maybe you can you can also find it out because I told you the definition. The Father is speaking. So. Okay, because most of the New Testament is the disciple speaking. So it cannot be in Gil at all. Hope you got it. Are you are you are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay. Are you I don't even, I don't even think you're hearing what I'm saying. Yeah, you asked me to give a verse. Give me the you. Bible verse that you believe is the Injil. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I need to go and search, right? Hey, go and I search need... then. Why do you why, why do you okay go and search? Why do you keep talking? Go find the verse. Like this is the this is the problem that I have with like Muslims sometimes, man. It's just like, geez, bro, you guys want to just tell stories and 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 like, bro, we don't need a campfire story every single time I, a question is asked, man. Yeah. I, I I asked you a simple question. Just give me the verse, brother. Like Ahmad, you're making this worse than it needs to be. Just give me the verse, please. Yeah, the thing is, the thing is. The thing is, here we go. The thing is, I need to tell you a campfire story before I go find the verse. Go ahead, Amar. Go ahead, man. Uh, enlighten us. Tell us a story, man. Go ahead. Yeah, not a story. I'm telling. Yes, it is difficult to find because I have to go through so many verses. Okay, most of the New Testament is the disciples speaking. So if you go, if you ask me to find out within a minute, it is difficult. That's what I'm telling. Okay, let me go and find out. Okay, you can make your point. If you have any other thing to note, you can make it. But I'm not going to bring up I'm not going to bring up anything else until you find the verse. Why do you keep rambling? Go find me the verse that you believe is the Injil left over in the Bible. This is literally what you said. We still have some of the Injil. What is taking so long? Just go get me a verse, man. I told you it is difficult to find. Okay. I have I need some time. What do you mean you need some time? How hard is it? Go to the, do you, do you know where the Injil is? It shouldn't take you no longer than a minute to go find the verse, man. Like you could have been founded the whole time you were speaking. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you, it is difficult for me to find. If you can easily find, then you can show it to me, right? Yeah, because you're, you're, no, you're more familiar with the New Testament than me. It's not about me being familiar with the New Testament, man. It's about me actually knowing where the gospel, well, excuse me, not the gospel, but me actually knowing where the Injil is. Like, you don't have any understanding of what the Injil is, which is why you're scrambling to go try to find a verse and quote it as if it's the Injil. Like, just be honest, bro. You don't know what you're talking about. You just brought it up. And then you, you, no one's probably ever asked you to bring me a verse from the Bible that you believe the Injil is. And now you're scrambling to go find it. Okay, Ma Matthew 3.17, go to Oh, you said Matthew 317? Yeah. You want to read it for us? Yeah, it says, uh, uh, Behold, a voice from heaven, a uh, voice out of heaven said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. So this is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. It is the father speaking. So it is kind of an angel. Okay. You said this is kind of the Injil? Yeah, because that's the father speaking. Because it, that, that's that's quoting the father, but 
Okay. That's that's no, no, no. No, I don't want I don't want kind of the Injil. I want the Injil. I don't oh, want yeah. kind of. Yeah, so, by definition. Yeah, so, try, by, so try again. Give me the Injil. I don't want kind of. Okay, that's a by definition, that's an Injil. Okay. You can take it like that. No, no, I don't want you to switch your position and now say that it's the Injil. You just said it was kind of the Injil. Do you believe this is the Injil or do you believe it's kind of the Injil? Okay, that is the Injil. Okay. By definition, that's the Injil. Okay, that's the NGO. Okay, so then, so you know, so now what you're claiming is, is that you have um, one, one verse. <laughs> one verse in all of Matthew is the NGO? I have to go and search, man. That's the one verse. Okay, you have to give me one verse. I gave you one. If you need to yeah. go and find, let me find it. Okay. Now, I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying, are you saying that this this one verse is the NGO? That's it? I don't say, I did not say that's it. You have to. You gave. Me, you asked me to give me an example. I show in. I gave. I gave you an example. If you need to find more, I can go and find it. That's what I'm telling. This is an example. Okay. Okay. So let's read the verse that you that you believe is the Injil. Let's just go ahead and read this, man. Okay. So it says here. Let's go ahead and uh, go into a little uh, some context. Okay. I and uh, let's start with. We don't need to go all the way up there. Uh, let's start with uh, verse 10. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is heaned down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he hath cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. And gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff in unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee, Jordan, up until John to baptize him. But John forbade him, saying, I have, uh, I have need to baptize thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it be so, for thus it becometh us to fulfill our righteousness. And uh, fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus was... And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son, whom I am pleased. So do you believe that uh, Allah is calling Jesus his son? It's a metaphor. Okay. The God is telling the David is the son, Adam is the son, all the Israelites are son. That's a metaphor. Right? No, 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 no. So metaphorically or literally, when has Allah ever when when has Allah ever referred to anybody as a son? No, in, in Quran, no. In the Bible, yes. In the Quran, it is never mentioned. Okay, so this match up. So does this verse here match up with Islamic theology? No, it's okay. You can metaphorically you can call him father, mother. Because in Quran we have the ninety nine names of the father, okay. That the king owner. So father is not and one he's of never them, addressed. But... And he's never addressed. He's never addressed. He... He's never addressed as a father. He never addresses okay. anyone as a son. Yeah, he never addressed, but that doesn't mean we cannot call him, right? Metaphorically we can call him because he protects us, he gives us a sustenance. So metaphorically we can call him. No sure is that. No, one says no, no, no. You can't say you can call him that. No, you can't say him. You, you can't say you can call uh, Allah the Father without actually proving a source. Because we don't have anything to deny that. That's a source. Okay, we don't have any evidence. That, don't call me Father. It's not there. Right. All we have is we can call him the Father because metaphorically we can call him. That's that's all you can. Literally not. No, you can't. You, you you can't metaphorically call Allah your father, bro. That's not true. You can call him. Yes. Metaphorically, you can call him. Literally, no. That's okay, give me a source that says that you can call Allah your father. Don't you? I don't want you to just say that. Give me a source. The source is because in most of the Islamic theology, what is forbidden is because it is not forbidden. So if it is not forbidden, we can call it. That's the default law. If something is not forbidden, it is by default that is allowed. So it is not forbidden in Islam. That's mean it's okay to call him father.
You haven't given me a source, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you one more time to give me a source, man. If not, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh, move on to a different subject. You haven't given me a source. You're just making a claim. You haven't proved it. Not no, one Muslim has ever said that they can call Allah Father. I, yeah, literally not. Metaphorically, I told you the source is okay in Islam. Okay. We, we already told you that it. We already told you that we don't literally mean that Allah has is having you know relations with people in creating us we don't we don't we don't we don't mean that no one means that so the fact that you're continuously trying to refute refute a point that's not even being brought up bro it's kind of getting annoying i'm gonna be honest with you okay so because you ask me a source my my evidence is in islam it explicitly mentioned these things are forbidden so if that is not mentioned by default that is allowed okay as an example islam says do not yeah, but him. Allah says Allah says he's a father to no one in your Quran, man. That is literal thing. Okay, that is literally he's not father to anyone. Okay, he's he did not beget or no beget. Okay. That's so that's a literally talking about, not metaphorically. Okay. Okay. And you haven't been able to prove anything that you're saying. So now um let me go elsewhere okay. in Matthew. Okay. Uh, Let's go elsewhere in Matthew, because we already know what the Muslims do, right? Okay. All right. Matthew 26, verses 1 through uh, 2. It says, and it came to pass when Jesus had finished all these sayings, and he said unto his disciples, ye know that after two days is it is the feast of Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. So you went and quoted Matthew. Thank you, Radar, for the birthday wishes. Thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, so do you believe that he quoted this since you quoted Matthew? What about Matthew 26, too? Because you believe that Matthew revealed revelation from God, right? Okay, so here Jesus telling disciple he will be crucified. Yes, okay. This is the Jesus speaking, not the Father speaking. But I accept that one. Jesus said, okay, we assume Jesus said like that. Okay, you I mean, but what's the point? Are you making? You are telling because because of this one Jesus crucified. That's what you are telling. Bro, you know what I'm telling you. Okay, but. Do you believe it? You believe you do you believe it? You believe Matthew, right? Revealed a prophecy, right? Or okay. uh, excuse me, you believe Matthew revealed revelation from God, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and you believe that Matthew has revealed revelation from God, but then you go into the other places in Matthew. Do you believe that that's also revelation from God? No, this is this is the this is the Jesus speaking. Or well, kind of you can say that's a revelation, but second class. Okay. I told you father is speaking is the angel. Jesus speaking that become hadith. So this is the Jesus speaking. So it's a kind of a hadith. I take it as a valid source. Okay. Okay. Jesus said like that. Oh my gosh. Hey, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go, man. I don't I don't know if I can get anywhere with you. Thank you for coming up though. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, Divu, are you a Muslim? You gotta give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Are you a Muslim? All right. Cool. Hey, what's good, bro? Hey, what's up, Devo? Yo, uh, it's Devil, bro. Devil. Devil, Devil. What's up, Devil? Hey, bro. Um, bro, I won't even. Um, I hear it's your birthday, brother. Happy birthday, man. Hey, man, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat, Jose. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, you. I, I beat you to it, man. I just, I, I can't do it today. We need to get some fruitful conversations. Go ahead, uh, Jose. I mean, uh, uh Devil. Yeah, bro. Um, to be honest, bro, I'm not even gonna take your time like too long, bro. I don't even want to stay on this like um this debating stuff, bro. It's Ramadan, like um thing, but you boys just be online like trying to insult and incite like yeah. all the Muslims and stuff, bro. It's like real. We don't be trying to bro. insult, man. <laughs> we we just read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, read, yeah. we read. We read some of the sources, man, and they they it just seems yeah, like that. But say, no, man. Man. I'll tell you what, brother. I used to be Christian, bro. You know right, that I used to actually yeah, be Christian and I come uh, and I you reverted come to back. Islam. You should come back. Man. So like um, you come back. Yeah. no chance, bro. 
maybe maybe you should come maybe we should have a discussion about that that's what i need you guys to do brother <laughs> i need you guys to now listen to me bro because every time you guys go online you guys open a discussion talking about the in jail the, it's like it's bro let's speak about what you guys know you should speak about christianity and you'll get the bunk straight away you get what i'm oh, wait, saying so you, okay so you so you're saying that so you're saying that we don't get debunked when we talk about Islam. When you talk about Islam, bro, it's like um, you guys don't even like, especially God logic, bro. Like, um, not I'm not trying to be in hate, bro. I know it's his page and this and that, bro. But I'm saying like, um, you guys just push. You keep like a certain corner. You try to put like I watched yesterday, bro. Like I was just like, what, bro? Yeah. People were trying to say different things, like radar apologetics and all these other guys. What you watch? Logic kept. Like Avery, I'm not calling him Avery, bro, because I don't think he's got God logic, brother. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Now, be now, careful, listen, man. You might, su you might summon him, man. You might summon bro, him, man. Him, brother. I'm not even trying to stay too long, brother. But I'm just telling you that um, I feel you guys just all you do is just push Muslims in a corner. But if I tell you something, bro, I've heard, I've heard discussions between God logic and Raider, and even Sam Shimon, or however you say his name. Where the where he starts speaking like Latin and things like that in the Christi Christianity, and that's when you go completely different ends. You see what I mean? Okay, so let's actually get into the conversation. So yesterday they were talking right. about right. yesterday they were talking about the crucifixion. So I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that you were kind of listening, like, man, what what's going on? You know, so I, I, I wanted to jump into that one, bro, because I could. Because the crucifixion is a good topic to talk about. That's Christianity. We can discuss Christianity. But when you guys yeah, we can do it. We can Islam, we can do it here. Yeah, let's we, go. We bro. can do it here. Go ahead. What, what what was your what was your issue with what they were saying about the crucifixion yesterday? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not wait, wait, really quick, Devil and uh, Pope. Mm -hmm. I know. What's up, bro? I know Rocco and Ray and them are on stage in in in, in the TikTok room. I just I don't really. I don't know, man. If we don't, if 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 Devil doesn't stay long, then we'll talk to them. But uh, yeah, I won't. I won't. I, won't I don't. I don't feel time, like. Bro. I don't feel like having a headache right, right now. Long, yeah, I won't even take your time too long, bro. I swear. Wallahi, bro. Like, no, I'd rather bro. talk. No, to you, bro. Bro. I'd rather. I'd rather talk to you. God, I believe, man, bro. But it's I'd a, rather it's talk to you than, than Rocco and Ray, bro. So go ahead, man. Do your thing. Okay. Can I? Can I ask you a few questions about Christianity? You said you wanted to talk about the crucifixion and the issue that they yeah. had yesterday. We can go ahead and discuss that. And then, you know, depending on how the conversation goes, then we can see. But yeah, if you have issues with Christianity, uh, sure, we can definitely talk about it. But what was your issue that you had with the with the conversation yesterday with the uh, logic? It's just the fact, man, how can I how can I put it, bro? I don't know. It's hard to like really like put it because like the things he the things he speaks about is never something that's like um relevant if uh, if you want to if i can make it like that bro i'm saying if you allow a muslim to question you they'll they'll debunk your argument but anyways yesterday thing was talking about saying like oh how allah made me believe the bible allah made me believe the crucifixion this and that you know that's true that's not true at all bro yeah it's true because any because narrative Quran, any narrative no. built or any narrative built around the crucifixion is due to Allah's doing. You see what I'm saying? Like you say you say that the only reason you say that is because Allah is is God, right? So and in the Quran it says it was made to appear like that. So you say oh God made them think like that, right? That's your reasoning behind it. True. Am I correct? Good. But now I'm telling you that the Quran was revealed years later. Allah revealed that information to humanity that all this years later. But Christians were still worshiping Jesus even before then, the first Catholics and stuff. How do you explain that, bro? Yeah. So the establishment of Jesus being worshiped. Uh, came about after the crucifixion. Yeah, there were a specific amount of believers at that specific time, but after the crucifixion, that's when you get that widespread worship of Christ for who he said he was, but which is the, the reason why, mm -hmm. but this is the reason why logic is flipping the narrative on you guys. He's saying, no. right? 
Yeah, you know, he is. He's saying, okay, since you believe Allah is God, well, then if yeah. your God did this, well, then that means he is at fault for any transpiring belief out of that understanding of Jesus Christ being crucified. So whether um, no. five different belief systems came about from Jesus being crucified. Not everyone believed it, Jesus was God it, in that it's time. Allah's, it's Allah's fault. Do you see what I'm no. saying? Not everyone believed Jesus was God at that time, even after the crucifixion. But bro. it's not even not about believing... Believe but it's not even about believing Jesus is God. It's about any ideology transpiring from the crucifixion is your God's fault. He is the one who made it appear as if Christ was being crucified. So if well, the widespread understanding was Christ, but listen, if the widespread understanding was that Christ was crucified because of whatever reason, the belief system started with your God. No, but the Quran says literally after those verses as well. It says like everything they know about it is just like conjectures from here, from here. It says they don't well, you know. know. You know when he said that though? Do you know when he said that? It says it right after. What do you mean? Okay, did he say that when these people saw Jesus being crucified or did he say it 600 years later to a prophet and people had to wait? I think the whole people verse had, came. People had to I wait, I don't know, maybe 15 years. years. Later, bro. I think the whole verse yeah. came in the Quran, bro. Yeah, within a, within a twenty three year yeah within a twenty three year span of Muhammad receiving revelations, these people in 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 the Arabian Peninsula was the first to hear this revelation, and it had, had to spread over uh -huh. into and then it had to spread all the way back to the people that have already established a belief system around see, the crucifixion. See, bro. see, bro. Do you know? See, do you bro. do you do you know how widespread the understanding of Jesus Christ's crucifixion was before the sixth century? Do you know how widespread yeah, that was? Exactly, exactly what the Quran says. It says they didn't know because the Bible. Why didn't they know? Flew, but why like didn't they, they know? Away. Everyone like no, no, but um, but, but devil, yeah. but devil. Why didn't they know? Why didn't they know about what actually happened? What do you mean? Why didn't they know, bro? Well, like, why is Allah telling us? Why, like, he's Allah's telling us? Well, they didn't know, right? You're saying, well, look, if you read the Quran, it says no, they didn't they know. know. They Why know didn't what they, they know? Think they know. No. Thank they you. What Thank they you. Think. They think not. Thank Listen, you. And that's the problem. If it, that's the problem. If you're saying they know what they think they know, and then if they think they know that Jesus was crucified because people saw Jesus being crucified on the cross, no, I didn't well, say that. that would... See, I didn't say that part. I didn't say that part because that's that's hadith, brother. That's a that's an ex explanation to try to explain what happened. So are you All saying people? Are you know. saying no one saw Jesus being crucified on the cross? Oh, of course not, bro. All the Quran says they did not kill him. The Quran confirms that he wasn't killed and he wasn't crucified. But it says it was made but to appear as if he know. was. It appeared as if he was, but they don't, okay. we don't know. Like we know, So if it um, appeared as if he was, oh, wait, wait. So if it appeared as if he was, then that means that people saw him on the cross. No, 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 no. It could also mean like people um, thought he was killed. They all ran away. Doesn't, I'm telling you that there's an explanation where someone tries to explain this incident in Islam. I know that where they say like, well, he made Judas's face look like that. I know all that stuff, but it's not in the Quran, bro. The Quran clearly says we don't know what happened. It clearly says, hey, people God. just try to explain it mm -hmm. to you. But, but but fair enough, brother. I don't even want to argue about this. Can I just... No, 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 no. I, I think this isn't... No, I think this is important. I don't think stuff like this needs to be it put aside important. because I think... It is important, because brother. I, think, I want to take you yeah, to a yeah, different I, place I, I, which will explain this, I bro. think... Okay, hold on. Because we can't we can't misunderstand the argument and then say, let's put it to the side. There are some things that I have issues with with how you're responding. And so I want to mm -hmm. I want to try to get you to understand where we're coming from. You can't say. If I if I heard you correctly, you can't say nobody saw Jesus being crucified on the cross. That's but not you what your him? that's not what your Quran says. Your Quran you does not him, say that. Did you see Give me him? a second. Give me a second. Let me adjust the super chats. Uh, Pro Life Chloe, thank you for the birthday super chat. I appreciate it. God Logic, thank you for the birthday uh, super chat. I appreciate it, man. I uh, appreciate all the birthday wishes from everybody. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay, so Divu, you can't say that no one saw Jesus being crucified on the cross. It just doesn't, it doesn't even add up because what it says in your Quran is that it was made to appear so. Let me get the verse. Yeah. Let me get the verse here and so we can actually mean? see it. What does that mean? That bro? means that that means that it was made to appear as if Jesus was on the cross. So that means that people and then in saw the later Jesus verses, on the cross. It also says 
And then you, you're forgetting the later verse as well. It says, it also says right after that, it says everything they know about it is just from here and here. Like, it's just like, you don't know what happened. Yeah, but one thing that they do know about it is that they saw him on the cross, right? Who saw him, bro? Tell me, who saw him? The people that were there. Who? The people you that were trying that, to, the people that Bible were trying, that they, they the people that him. were trying to crucify Christ saw him on the cross, correct? Like, there's no other way that they couldn't see him on the cross. Are you sure they knew who Christ was? Brother. Like if they they said definitely, the, if they, they definitely, they definitely, they hold on, wait, 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 one second, one second, one second, one second, yeah. they definitely knew who Christ was for sure, absolutely, that's a, that's a fact, second of all, uh, second See, bro, of all, that's, that's gonna be my word again, it's gonna be again my word against your word, bro, it's gonna be like, wait a minute, saying, like, doesn't your Quran say it was, wait, wait, doesn't it, doesn't your Quran say the person that was on the cross was made to appear? So that means that if it appeared as the if Quran Jesus doesn't was on say the cross, anything about the cross, bro. The Quran just okay, says it was made okay. to appear that way. Okay, doesn't being crucified, be, being being crucified up. wherever he was at, it doesn't matter. Does your Quran okay, okay. say that it was made to appear okay, as if Jesus was being crucified? Brother, brother, can I say something, bro? That's what I was trying to tell you in the beginning, bro. I was trying to tell look, you. That look at look at look at this right here. It was only made. Bro? It was only made to appear. So that's all. No cross. Nothing. No cross, bro. Okay, so everybody was okay. So everybody was okay. So everybody was hallucinating at that time. No, like this crucifixion no, event didn't even take place. Again, again, you're trying to explain the Quran. The Quran yeah, but you're not explaining. Yeah, but you're not explaining anything. Though, but but devil, uh, devil, devil. The only thing that you're yeah. telling me is that the Quran is saying that he wasn't crucified. You're not addressing yeah. it was made to appear. So you're literally ignoring that. Michael Riviera again. Oh my goodness. Hey man, this is like your 20th super chat. Michael Riviera, Michael Riviera I, I appreciate it, man. Look, hey, every time Michael Riviera talks and makes a comment, it's a super chat. <laughs> Yesterday, this dude had like 12 super chats, my guy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Appreciate now, that, Michael Riviera. Me, Thank you. Bro, like, I'm actually not in the best place at the moment as well, but I didn't come with the best argument. That's why I didn't want to stay too long and stuff. But um, can I can I just say something, bro? Can I say something, bro? You're, you're, you're good. You're good, devil. But listen, man. Listen, man. The problem is is that you're not addressing what I'm saying. You're telling me that on one note, the Quran says you, that he wasn't no, crucified. We, we understand that. that. We understand that. We get that wholeheartedly. We can hear that. But the problem is, is that you have a part here that all Muslims like to ignore. It says it was made to appear so. And you're showing signs of that same Muslim group who does this. You, you ignore this. It says it was made to appear so. Have you looked into the tafsirs about what this verse even means? There you go. That's the tough. That's explaining what it could, what the possible meaning of this verse could be. But I, I'm telling you that I agree. Right clearly says there. But that's what. That's why, brother. That's why, brother. I really do not want to get into this. I don't want to get into. Well, why this don't you want to get into it? We don't need to go into tafsir, no, bro. This, this Honestly. <laughs> We don't need to go in the top here. I understand, but but listen, let me let me tell you this. I understand top because it seems like you you want to have a slight conversation about this, not no, really no, no. address wanna, the point. I want to jump to the Bible, then, actually, bro. I, I know you. I know Bible. that's what I was about to say. You want to have a slight conversation about this, not address the, the points topic, that I'm brother. bringing up. No, I, I, I okay, great, topic, but, though, okay, it's great. But the biblical narrative, but hold on, but the biblical narrative and the Quranic narrative are two completely different things. What I don't like is that when what I, what I don't like, but, but but listen, what I don't like is when a Muslim wants to have a conversation, can barely answer these questions, and then say, let's move this to the side, and then let's go to the Bible. You can barely answer it because I'm not asking you if your Quran says whether he was crucified or not. I know your Quran says he wasn't. You've you've been mm -hmm. misunderstanding everything that I've been telling you this entire okay, time. So when I ask, we are not okay, brother, we are not talking about mean? the fact that your Quran says that he wasn't crucified. We understand. I understand that. what you're saying, bro. I understand what you're saying. So I'm saying when it says it was only made to appear, so what does it right. mean to you, bro? It, 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 it okay. If it was only made to appear, so that would mean that it was made to appear as if Jesus was being crucified. That's what I'm. That's what I'm telling you, though, bro. Like, is that is that logical? Are you gonna say that it? May, Someone took this is what your this is what your God is saying. What, what sorry, bro? This is, sorry, bro. This sorry, is bro. what your God is saying. Could, could, it, could, could a conspiracy under the Catholic Church and Pontus or whoever like did it? Could that be a reason? 
that could they have made it to a PSO? Maybe Jesus escaped no, it and they were no, like, no, oh, human, no, no human, no, no human, no human could make it appear as if a, no human you. could make it appear as if Jesus Christ was on the cross. Absolutely not. You think these you, you think these people were do you think these people were able to do that? You think these people the were problem. able to do the face swapping see, and brother. put see brother? The problem is you infatuated with the cross and Jesus on it. I'm telling you that forget the cross. I'm saying if G if Jesus left the if, say Jesus left the country, he escaped in a different way. And the Catholics who were running around trying to kill him, of course, not not the Catholics, sorry, bro. I'm, I'm all over the place, but not the Catholics, like the Romans and the Jews. We know how they were, bro. I'm saying those people who were trying to crucify him, of course, they were scared of him. I'm saying, could they have made it appear like, yeah, we got him? Is that a possibility? Brother, your Quran says it was made to appear as if Jesus was being crucified. Yeah. And I'm saying, is it possible? How that, do you um, make it appear? No, I'm not talking about, we're not talking about possibilities. Well. So here's the problem, Divu. Here's the problem. History is mm -hmm. not, now, now we have to get into the nitty gritty. History is not on your side. If you really think that you can go and have a conversation with somebody oh, about bro. the crucifixion and then post theories and say, hmm, well, my Quran says it was made to appear so. So let's theorize exactly what it is that, that is meant when we literally That's can go I'm to doing, history. We doing, literally bro. can go to history outside of the Quran. On outside That's of the Bible, and prove do, that Jesus Christ your was... Bible, bro. I was what do you mean? The, the, Bible, the Bible, the Bible says he was crucified. So you're you're gonna cut okay, yourself so by going to the Bible. Bible. Bro. Do, you so you believe the Bible? That, right? okay. the Bible do you believe the Bible? Okay. Do you believe crucified? Yeah, the you're Bible, Bible says he was that. crucified. Yeah, the Bible okay, says he was crucified. The Bible, bro. Do you believe the Bible is Do you believe the Bible is authentic? Let's go to the Bible, bro. Do you believe the Bible? Before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, do you believe the Bible is authentic? Do I believe the Bible is authentic? Yes, I believe the Bible contains errors, brother. I believe the Bible contains um, corruption. I believe there's truth in the Bible, but it contains corruption, hundred percent. Okay, great. I believe the Quran. I, be I believe there's if truth in the Quran. You guys try to hold a Muslim. I believe. Saying and I believe the, Bible the same thing. True or it's I believe, false. And I yeah, I believe the same thing about that. I believe everything from it. But I believe like the same thing Muslim. about the Quran. I believe the same thing about the Quran. So now care, we're not going to be able to get anywhere. No, 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 brother. No, no. I'm saying. If you believe the same thing about the Quran, we can discuss the Quran and just bring up those points. But now let me bring up the points about the Bible that I'm trying to tell you, bro. Because it's Does the, okay, okay, okay. Before you do that, before you do that, right? Because listen, here's the thing. I don't like playing hopscotch. I'm when you bring up whatever verse that you bring up, I'm going to bring up a verse that shows he was crucified. Whatever, bro. Do what you want. I'm asking. And then, and then the conversation about the Bible is going to be over because the Bible talks about him being crucified. First of, all, first of all, brother, first of all, brother, let me apologize again, man, because I I told you but I'm not in the best like thing at the moment. Let me apologize again because I'm being a bit rude again, bro. It's your birthday and all that, bro. I wanted to nah, give you a bit of a rude. Slack you're not being rude. Yeah, I wanted to give you a bit of an enlightenment, bro. Yeah, but, but devil, devil, you're not being rude. This is just the ignorant position that Muslims have taught you not, to, go into, to go into a book. To go, no, it doesn't matter if you. It doesn't matter if you used to wait. But listen, it doesn't matter if you used to be Christian. Your position, where you're stating, I can come into your book and claim your book has truth and falsehood in it. You don't even know where you get that standard from because you cannot use your Quran and Why use the Bible. Christian? And I'm you can't you I'm, use I'm the well. No, devil, you know about the Bible, devil. Bro, you cannot use the Bible and the Quran and then turn around and say the Quran is the way that I verify what's true in the Bible. You can't do that. So if I'm this is what you that. think that you're going to do with me, it's not going to work. I'm not trying to do that. I was just wanted to talk to you about the Bible, bro. I wanted okay, to ask you go about ahead. The, Bring about me up Jesus the verses. Crucifixion. Okay, okay go ahead. Let's talk about Jesus crucifixion. Let's see. Okay, Let's first see. of all, um, I wanted to ask you a few questions, brother. Just like I won't take I won't take too much of your time. I've already been here like long time now, bro. You know, so I was just gonna say, bro. Um, first of all, I know there's a verse where Jesus says um, he compares himself to Jonah, right? Christians love using this a lot. Absolutely, says, Jonah, like Jonah. Absolutely, Jonah was dead. Yeah, he says just like Jonah was in the big fish for three days and three nights, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. will the Son of Man be in the grave for three days and three nights, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long was Jesus um in the grave for, bro? Question. Bro, so what do you okay? So here's the problem. What you're gonna do is, is you're gonna try to pose a contradiction or you're gonna try to pose an error. <laughs> oh, there's not an error here. There's not an error, there's not an error here, bro. The okay, answer is that 
the answer the, the answer is that he was um in there for a span of three days. So we have the three day period. Talk this is what it's, this is what it's talking about. This is what it's Bring talking about. It's talking about a, this is what it's talking about. This is what it's talking about. It's talking about a three day period, not literally specifically three days and three nights, like a full on 48, uh, what is, for a full on 72 hour period. And then all of a sudden here, Jesus comes again. That's not what it's talking so about. You're taking it too literal. So brother, when, when Jesus said, jo so as Jonah was in the big fish for three days and three nights, I will be in the grave for three days and three nights. You're saying he meant, he didn't mean it like that. Bro, I just answered the question. I just told you that you're taking it too I'll literal. It again. Explain it to you're me taking again, it too brother. literal, bro. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be taken as a seventy, a seventy-two hour period, bro. Ah, okay. it's a three-day period. That's basically it's three days. Period. That's that's what it is. You know how they okay, spoke. So, back then. so, so good you know Friday, how they. But, but listen, but listen. You you know how they spoke. You know how they spoke. Saturday, Saturday. and Sunday he rose. So is that what you're saying? They, that's three days right there. Friday he was in the yeah, grave. It's over. The, it's, it's over Friday, a span of three was, days. He died and put in the grave. Saturday he was in the grave, and then the third day is that. Is that when you're saying like um? That's I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna. Day, know, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many times. I don't know how many times I gotta answer the question. I answered it. Do you have a no rebuttal? Worries, no worries. Do you have a rebuttal? I answered it. Yeah, like I don't understand what what's going on. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think you did, bro. I just told anyway, you that. Okay. It's not, I just. I just told you that. I just told you that it, you you can't take the three days and three nights literal as in a a seventy two hour period. I, I I don't. How many times do I have to answer you? And then you just counted three days, and then you want me to answer uh, the question. I just told you it's over the course of three days. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a three day period. You don't. Yeah, I, life, I don't, I'm confused. Life. life. You say it was. You say so it adds up. That's what you're telling me, basically. You're saying I'm taking it too literal. It makes perfect sense. So was Jonah in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, or was it also just like um, just wording? Bro, are we gonna? So do you have another? Do you have another question, or do you no, want to keep bro. repeating I'll bring another the question. same? No Perfect. I'll bring yeah, it I don't know. It, it was already answered, bro. I don't want to keep answering yeah, the same no, thing no, over and over brother. again. Let's actually let's actually develop a point because you were trying to come into the Bible and disprove the, crucif no worries, uh, the crucifixion. Bro. No worries. Moving on. Yeah, we'll I answered the question. We'll move that. We'll move on. The re the resurrection, bro. We'll go to the resurrection because um, there's um four different accounts in the resurrection, bro. So we'll say um, the first one talks about uh, Mary Magdalene going with other women to the grave. They found the stone. They ask each other, oh, who's going to roll away the stone? Then they get there. They find the stone already rolled away, right? Then she goes there and she sees one angel. But in the other version, she sees two angels and she's alone. And she's too scared to tell the disciples after. But in the other version, she which, which, which account is correct, bro? How many angels did she see? Cause that's a big one, brother. That's seeing yeah, an so angel. all of the gospel, angel right all, now. Yes. I'll remember that, bro. So, so all of the gospel accounts, all of the gospel accounts are correct. That's literally what they are. They're gospel so accounts. One angel, so or they, two, all, bro. They, all, they all, all of the bro, all of the gospel accounts are correct. I don't, I don't think you're listening. All of okay. the gospel count accounts are correct. They are not contradictory. So every account that you read in the gospels are correct. That answers your question. So how many all angels did Mary correct. see? How many angels does it say in the accounts? One says one. She saw one angel sitting at the foot of mm -hmm. the thing. And she was like, why do you seek the living amongst the dead? And the other one says it was outside, in fact. The other one says it was outside. And she saw a gardener. She saw Jesus himself, and he was like, "Oh, bro, there's different accounts. You explain it to me. I don't want to jump into it." Bro. Okay, so that didn't very, that didn't that didn't tell me how many angels so that, uh, did you that, get out of the account. That, that confirms what the Quran says. It says like they don't even know when he was risen. This and that. It confirmed that they just get stories from different places. Yeah, they, they do. Okay, stories. so you know what? You know what? How about this? You know what? Let's do this. Actually, pull up the verses and let's read them together. Yeah. So you're bringing them up, and yeah. let's actually pull the yeah. verses up and let's go ahead and read them together. And then we'll let's see. We'll brother. see. We'll see if there's an um, issue, brother. You're more of a you're more of a um Christian than me, brother. I won't lie. So um, you probably have the better verses to um pull them up. So let's just go resurrection in the gospels. That's what I'm gonna type on Google right now, bro. Resurrection. Okay. In the gospels. Yep. And we'll try and find each account, bro.
Okay? Yeah, bring me up, bring, bring me the verses. Yeah, bring me the verses that you have issues with. The two angels, the one angel. Go ahead, pull up the verses. Oh, bro, we'll come see. on. That's the you see, that's the problem. <laughs> You're gonna tell me to bring up the verses, bro. I'm not gonna bring up the verses, but I'm saying you know the story, right? You know that they. No, we're not gonna talk about it. a pair. No, we're not. So yeah, what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna talk about it. What we're not gonna do, we're not gonna talk about it. Paraphrased. Thank we're actually gonna Christian read the Mason, verses. Bro. I, okay, so would you like me to talk about your Quran and paraphrase the verse and have you discuss about a paraphrase verse or would you like me to actually read it in its context? See, the problem is, is that you Muslims don't want to read and talk about the verses want, in context. I'm not going to talk. I want you to explain. I can't explain it to you. I can't explain it to you until you know what verse you're even talking about. <laughs> I want you I can't to explain to me what it devil, is. Bro. Devil, yeah. I can't explain it to you until you even until you know what verse you're even talking about. Do you even know where the verse okay. is? Okay, bro. I'm talking about the resurrection. Of course I know where the verse is, bro. Okay, so give me the verses so I can pull them up. Yeah, <laughs> give me the verses so I can pull them up. Show me that you're not talking about little arguments from bullet points. Okay. Show me. Show go me that Matthew you know what verses you're talking about. Okay, let's go to Matthew 28, bro. All right. So we'll go to Matthew 28. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it's the same one. Uh, is it the one? To don't be afraid. Da, 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 yeah, perfect. Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week. What? What's the first day of the week, by the way, bro? Matthew 20. You know? All right. Give me the verse about the angels. It's the whole verse. You read, you read it. You read it, bro. You read it. Okay. You know, by the last long devil, you came up here good, man. You don't even know how to formulate your argument. I'm not formulating your argument for you, brother. When That's I talked the about the, when I talked about the Quran and I talked about 4157, I formulated yeah. my argument properly. If you don't know how to Fair formulate enough. your argument, I'm not going to try to figure out your argument for you. You talked about the okay, angels, brother. then we came to the verse, and now you're asking me about the first day of the week, and then like, bro, I, I don't, I'm, nah, look, I'm sorry, man. I'm brother. not. I'm yeah. sorry, man. I'm okay. not about to do this. I'm not arguing your argument for you, man. You got to know how to do it yourself. I'm Sorry, not helping bro. you get your argument, let me, brother. Let me do a bit better, bro. Let me do a okay, bit better, bro. So, okay, so bring me to the two verses that. Okay, so bring me to the two verses that you have an issue with about the angels. Bring me okay, to the two verses. Are you on That's Matthew it. 28, brother? Are you on Matthew 28? Yes, I'm on Matthew 28. Yes. Okay. Um, can I ask you to read that one? Are yes. You able to read it? Matthew okay, 28. What? Start from the top, bro. Do you want me to just read all? You want me to just reading it in context, like you tell me. You want me to just read? You want me to just read all? You want me to just read all of Matthew twenty-eight? Because that's the resurrection, brother. Yes. Can you please? Bro, I'm not about to read all of Matthew twenty-eight. What's the verse? Okay, can I see? This is what I'm saying. This is why I'm showing you. I know what you're. I know what verse you're talking about. But the problem is, is that it seems as if you're just going. No, the problem is, is that it seems as if you're going off of bullet points, and you've probably found an argument from a website, and then you don't even really know how to formulate it because you can't even pinpoint me to the verse that you want me to read. Bro, I'm not even asking you to read a verse that you could say that if I was asking you to, if I pulled a single verse and I asked you to read. Yeah, you're telling me to read a chapter. Yeah, you're telling me to read. Yeah, you're telling me to. Yeah, I'm not going to read. I'm not, I'm not going to read 30. I'm not going to read 20 verses for you, bro. I'm not going to read okay, all brother. of Matthew 28. Okay, brother. Can I, can I, can I, can I um read and just, um point out the hype? Okay, the how about this? Take, take, take time and figure out your argument, bro. Figure out your but argument. I'm not, argument and right I'm, I'm only doing this in, in, in devil. I'm only doing this on purpose. I could take you to the argument that you want. I know this argument already, but the problem is, Brother, is you don't know how know to formulate it. I know I you know, don't, bro. I know you. Even don't though I, even, answer, even though I already answered, even though I already answered it. Oh, now that I'm man. telling you to bring us to the art, now I'm telling you that to bring us to the verses, I'm showing verse, you that bro. you don't even know, you don't even know how to formulate your own argument. Bro. Okay, let me break it down. A you're bit telling more. Sorry, me, bro. go, you're telling me, read the whole chapter of Matthew 28. Life, bro. What Life, this bro. does that make? Learn how to Life, formulate bro. your argument. Give me the two okay. verses that you have an issue with. Go. You're right, brother. Figure it you're out. Right, brother. Go ahead. Right, take brother. your time and figure it out. You're right, brother. You're right. Okay. Let's, let's break it down. Okay. Let's do this. Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the gods trembled and became like dead men. So Mary was not alone, clearly in Matthew's account. 
But the angel said to the woman, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. Boom. That's all. That's all we needed. One angel. Now let's go to the next one. Yeah? Let's go to Luke now, bro. Yeah? Is that okay? One angel, bro. Right? One angel. Mary was not alone. She was with another Mary. Why do we have to take this time, bro? I thought you said you know the verses. Could you um, just tell me the verses? <laughs> Everybody see what this is, man. He want me to tell him the verses of his argument. Why, why do we got to take all this time, y'all? Can you please tell me the verses that I have an issue with? I'm no, man. Tell me the verses devil, of my argument. devil, I'm not doing I'm your homework for you, man. Learn how to formulate your argument, brother. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Learn I got how to the next form verse. Yeah. I argument. got the next verse. Yeah, no worries, Mike. I'm a uni student, bro. Right. I'm doing engineering, so I could, I could. Well, you should up. know when you're trying to argue. You should know when you're trying to argue something. You should know how to form. All right, bro. It. Next verse is right here. Next verse is right over here, bro. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They found it rolled away. Not nothing about an earthquake, nothing about an angel coming down and then rolling the stone away. They found it rolled away. That's already different. But when they entered, they did not find the body of Jesus, of the Lord Jesus, apparently, as you call them. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men, two in clothing that gleamed like lightning, stood beside them. Oh, bro, I don't even have to go on. Like I've got you right there, bro. One in the first one, two in the second. In the grave. The first one, he was sitting on the stone. Like, which account is real, brother? Okay, you, are you done? Oh. You done? Are you done? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So now let's bring up let's bring up both of the verses, okay? And we'll bring up... Not just those two, bro. The other two Gospels say different accounts as well. So if you want to, we can... Okay, do you want to... Do you, okay, do you, okay, do you yeah. want to... Do you, you no, no, carry on. You carry on, bro. I don't want to... <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, cool. So... Let's see. Let's bring this verse here. So was it one angel or two angels? That was the question. Both. I told you, both accounts both. are correct. Ah, perfect. Right, Sounds like so, they didn't know what they were talking about and taking stories just like the Quran. No, says. they did. They did know what the no, they did know what they're talking about. The problem is, is you don't understand what accounts are. Do you expect all of these uh, accounts to be identical? Do you expect all of these? Let me, let me ask you this. Do you expect all of the gods? Let me ask you this. Do you expect all of the devil? Listen. This is why you guys don't. This is why you guys don't ever learn anything because you just keep talking. Do you expect all of God? Do you expect all of the gospel accounts from different people? to be exactly the same, identical. Do you expect Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John to write the same exact thing over and over and over again? Question? I'll answer that, bro. I could I could understand if there was a few differences, the way you guys say it was, um, it was, it was God-inspired and man. I used to be Christian, so I understand what you guys are saying. It's not God's word. It's written. I could understand that. I could part past that, bro. But I'm saying when it comes to a supernatural event, like seeing an angel, you don't see that every day, bro. If you saw a ghost, you're not going to tell me, oh, I saw 10 ghosts, bro. I, I expect on the account of a supernatural event, I expect that to be accurate, bro. Straight up. Yeah, it is It is accurate. That's the problem. The problem so is, is that you're... The problem... Bro, I'm, I'm a, we're about to get into that. Let's see. Let's go to... Carry on, Mark. bro. Yeah, let's go to Mark 16. All right. So you compare Matthew... And, Mark, and, Greta and all of them, You bro. compare... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not an issue. So, I mean... Yeah, well, no matter who you get it, no matter who you get it to, bro, it's not an issue. So what we're doing is, is we're reading accounts, right? So these accounts go hand in hand. Okay. So we'll do Mark yeah, 16. Like supernatural events, like Moses split the sea. Yeah, just because you expect a supernatural oh, event Moses to be told. Mountain, but just be, <laughs> but devil, devil, just because you expect a supernatural. And then I'm going to go to your Quran and then I'm going to show you how oh, you're not going to stand Quran. on your. Hold on, but listen, watch Quran. this, watch this. After this, I'm going to go to your Quran and I'm going to show you how you literally have the same thing. And then you're gonna, and then you're gonna waffle brother, your way out of it. Watch this. Nah, so brother, now I'm not gonna go into the Quran because I know you're not knowledge. No, you're not gonna go. You know, okay, okay. Well then, okay, well then, okay, well then, we're not gonna go into the Bible because I know you're not knowledgeable about the Bible. How about that? How about conversation over then? Do you want to run? I just gave you the verses and I just wait a minute, wait a minute, but wait a minute, but wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What passage? Okay, what? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
you are literally saying, I want to talk about the Bible, but then I'm saying, wait, I'm going to flip and show you that you're God. You're God. Yo, life, bro. You, you have this, wait, you have this Yo, problem. Life, Yo, life, you have this problem. This... And now you're scared. Go, go, now you're shaking, go, go, go. bro. Yo, life, you're shaking, bro. Yo, life, bro. You're already running, dude. Yo, you're life, already running. Life, my brother. Life, my brother. I swear, wallahi, bro, if I disrespected you, especially because it's your birthday, bro, I don't mean it, brother. Devil, what like, does all of this do? You don't need to keep apologizing brother, to me. Finish, I'm just finish, letting finish, you know. Brother, devil, devil, I'm um, devil. Talking, bro. Devil, go I'm on. about to mute you in a second, man. Listen, I'm just letting you know that I'm going to go into your Quran and I'm going to show you that your one God is retelling stories over and over and over again and he's not saying the same thing twice they're his stories to tell oh oh, oh oh wait a minute but, so wait, but, uh, wait a minute so but, wait, wait 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 Allah can say talk. wait hold on the problem is the problem <laughs> oh is God. is that what you brought up right here are accounts all talk of about, these accounts all of these firing, man bro. dude 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 if you keep talking over me I'm gonna drop you bro you started good, uh -huh. and this is the reason why Muslims don't never learn anything about Christianity is because you guys ask a question, and the moment we keep we start talking and try to answer you, you just keep talking, and then you run out of the room and act like you did something. Dude, be quiet. I'm giving you the answer that you want. I'm trying to, and you just keep you just keep waffling on about nothing. I've already answered the question, but then we're gonna read it, and then I'm gonna show you. And now that I'm telling you, I'm gonna go into your Quran and show you that your one author, Allah, couldn't even get his same story right. Which one? Which one? Which exactly. One? Which one? Yeah, you can't stand to hear that. Yeah, it hurts your ears, bro, to realize that your God can't tell the same story twice right. All right. All right. Matthew 28. Okay. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. One through eight. In the end of the Sabbath, uh, as it began to, to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Mag uh, Magdalene and Sunday. the other Mary to see the uh, uh, Sabbath, bro. All right, bro. Don't right. mute me, bro. I'm just telling you. Go on. Can you be quiet? Yep. Carry on. I don't understand how you want the answer. You're cutting me out. You're not even allowing me to read anymore. Sorry, bro. Apologies from the bottom of my heart. Carry on. Okay. <sighs> Goodness, dude. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the... Goodbye. I don't even care anymore. Figure it out yourself, brother. Hey, you down there laughing, dude. I'm going to give you one more chance, bro. I'm going to give you one more chance. You cut me off again, bro, and you're out of here, dude. Literally, you're out of here. You cut me off again, and you're out of here. All right. And when the Sabbath was uh in this and when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and the Mary mother of James and Solomon had brought had bought sweet spices and they uh and they might come out and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came out unto the sepulchre. I don't know, I don't know what that word is. Sep 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 sepulchre at the rise of the sun. And they said amongst themselves, who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entered the, I'm guessing that's tomb, bro, to be honest. Like, honestly, I'm going to just use tomb. I, I, I feel like that's tomb. Um, Stop guessing, bro. And entered it's into the, the, yeah, I'm guessing yeah, it sounds like it because of the way they're using it. So I'm going to use tomb instead of trying to make a fool of myself. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Cool, cool, cool. Do what you want. And bro. entering into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were frightened. And he said unto them, Be not afraid, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way. Tell his disciples and Peter that he hath goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for they trembled and were amazed. 
neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Beautiful. So, okay. So you, what you didn't want to read the whole verse, bro. Now you're reading them, brother. Keep going. Keep going. Jesus. No, I went down to eight. I'm trying to figure out what's the that point was, here. That I don't, was I don't, Mark, I don't... Mark is similar to Matthew, but it's different from Luke and John. Now, now go to um, Luke, bro. Okay, so you don't have an issue with Luke. Okay. Luke what? Got an issue with the whole gospel, brother. That's okay, what Luke what? So you don't have an issue with Okay, you don't have an issue with Matthew and Luke and Mark. Okay, what what's the issue with Luke? What Luke what? Give me the verse. What? Luke what? I mean, I just you said there was a difference and then I read brother, Mark the and then I'm asking you what's the, the issue and you and you just told me that brother, they're similar. The resurrection. the resurrection is what we're talking about. I know we're talking about it. What's the issue with it? I just read two passages. I just read you two accounts, and I'm asking you, what is the issue? And then you're telling, you just told me, well, it's similar. The, just go to Luke. So do issue, you have an issue between Matthew and Mark? Uh, it, yes. The issue, what you read there was Matthew. What you read there was Mark. Yes. And Mark's account is similar to Matthew, with a slight okay. difference, actually. With a slight difference where Mark, actually, accounts. in Mark, they say the women were too afraid, and they didn't tell anyone. But in Matthew, it says she told Simon Peter. So that's a bit of a difference as well. Yeah, that's, bro, it's called accounts, bro. So when Mark is, so so when you read the establishment of someone telling you that, hey, you know, we we address the fact that they were too scared to tell anyone. That doesn't mean that they didn't tell anyone. So when the other account is telling you that they told someone, that is not contradictory. Dude, No. Really what, 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 what else is the issue here? Okay, so how many angels was there? Was it one or two angels? Two angels. The one account, two one angels. account, one account addresses one, and the other one addresses the fact that there were two. That's it. It doesn't say no that there was bro. only one angel there. No worries, bro. Salam alaikum, okay. brother. That's All right, thank you. So now let's go to your Quran and let's see how Allah oh, doesn't know how to read. read man. <laughs> what what happened? Quran, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I was so, about to leave because you didn't know. Yeah, I know you're about to leave, but now let let's see no, you waffle. I know you're about to leave, but now let's see you waffle about your Quran and let's see and let and let's see and let's see let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens because the the problem is the problem is that you don't understand. The problem is is that you don't understand the difference between multiple authors telling a a story and all of their accounts go hand in hand, so we can get the full picture. You don't understand that, which is the reason why you don't understand that. You don't understand that, which is the reason why when we read, wait, listen, you don't understand that, which is the reason why when we read something that's being addressed, like what we like what we addressed in the other passage about. Uh, someone addressing they were scared to say something that doesn't mean that they didn't say anything so then when we read another account showing that they said something that doesn't mean that they weren't scared to say something you see what i'm saying you see how they bounce off of each other and come together perfectly so then we can see so then we can see no no because so then we can see oh wow they were scared so then we can see oh wow they were scared to say something but they ended up saying something that's how it works. That's how all the accounts work together. So the same thing right, with the angel. Up. One author the addresses last... one angel and the other author addresses two angels. It never says so that there was only so one was angel. Right, so which one was right, bro? Because that's I a big literally account. I literally <laughs> said they're all I literally said I literally said they're all right. They're go do you know what okay, so uh, that's your do you know it, what do you know right. do you know how a puzzle do you know how a Divu Divu Devu do you know how a puzzle works? I don't care. Do you know how a puzzle works? Exactly. Look at that. I don't care. Look how he's sitting in his no, car. No, I'm I'm I don't saying, care. No, I don't care. I, I want to. I want to bring. I want to bring you a contradiction, or I want to bring you an issue, and then when I get refuted, I'm gonna sit back in the car. I'm gonna sit back in my car like this and say I don't care. He don't care, y'all. He no, don't care, y'all. Like I'm telling you, bro. I joined this. I joined this live. I remember this time, bro. It was 4:45. Now it's he don't care, y'all. 10 past one. One, the one, the first hour. So I've been here for like almost twenty minutes, like past twenty minutes, bro. You get what I'm trying to say? But I hey, man, you don't want you don't you don't want who came here, man. I, I didn't invite you. I don't know you from a can of, of paint. You didn't. I know you didn't, but you insulted my religion like you're wise, bro. But you can't even answer something in your own religion. I just bro. I just answered you, bro, and you oh, just said you. I, I answered you. I, I answered you, and all you did was sat back and say I don't care. <laughs> No, no, no. Your, your, your answer, bro. Your answer, brother. No, like, oh your answer gosh, was both dude. accounts are real. You said both accounts are correct. Yes. 
That's that the answer. answer. And then and then I and then I expounded on it. I and then I expounded on it. Angels and Mary saw one angel. That's your answer. Okay, right? you clearly didn't. You clearly didn't hear me. You're not listening. You you oh, weren't listening. Jesus, well, you she matter. saw two. She saw two angels, but one account addressed one angel, and the other account addressed the two angels. So that means it was two angels. The same reason why the other account addresses that she was scared to say anything, and the other account addresses that she did say something. So when we put okay. the two accounts together, we know that she was scared to say something, but she ended up saying something. I'm a like I don't understand what what you don't get. I'm addressing <laughs> it, and then you're like, no, wait, wait, wait. all right, dude, brother. All right, bro. No, life, okay. life, brother, life, brother, life, brother. This is what I'm trying to. This is what I also want to tell you, bro. Now I also want to tell you that the fact that, bro, I'm Muslim. I used to be Christian, bro. I'm telling you, you keep that saying now, that, bro. Why do brother, you keep saying that? Like that me, matters. Let me, speak, let me just finish something, bro. Let me just finish something. Now I'm saying like enough of the clowning and the joking and making making each other look silly and stuff, bro. I'm telling you that. Open your heart, bro, sincerely, read it and read the Quran and you will find truth, brother. I don't know why Muslims, I don't know why when Muslims get refuted, they just go to man, open the Quran and just read it, brother. I'm just trying to tell you, I did refute you. I refuted your claims, dude. No worries then, bro. I'm happy you refuted me, bro. Did you want to show me something in the Quran? Yeah, I'm about to do it right now. No, I'm about to do it right now. Give me a second. I don't, I'm not, I'm not here. The Quran says itself, bro. I don't have to convince you. I just wanted to give you some wisdom, bro. Like, no, 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 no. But I want to give you, no, no I want to give you. I so what I want to do, like, no, so, want, so what I want to no, do. Geez. Okay. So now you're, okay. So now you're, now you're frustrated and you don't care. So I want to give you, I want to give you. In fact, to be honest, I was trying to go do my own shit, but I just got to, cause we all. I want to give you an bro. issue. I was trying to give you some in, intel, bro. Like literally. Bro. All right. So watch this. So watch this. I watch this, you guys. Look, watch the Waffle Fest. Get ready for the mm. Waffle Fest, y'all. Watch this. Like we just seen before. Was the angel? Watch this. The watch this. At the gate of the stone. Watch like, this. What? Watch this, y'all. Was there an right, earthquake? Oh, like, bro. Here we go. Chapter, chapter seven. Chapter seven, verse seven. eleven. In, chapter seven, verse eleven in the Quran. Watch this. Surely we created you, then shaped you, then said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. So they all did, but not Iblis, who refused to prostrate with the others. Uh Chapter 7. Allah asked, Uh what prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? He replied, I am better than he is. You created me me from fire and him from clay. Hold on. Uh Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's the story retold. Mm. And remember when we said to you, prostrate before Adam. So they all did, but not Iblis, who who protested. Should I prostrate to the one who created you, who, who you created from mud? Hold on. Wait a minute. He didn't say that. Hold on. Wait a minute. He didn't say that here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. You mean Brother. to tell me, Allah, wait a minute. You mean to tell me Allah can't say a story twice without saying something different? Hold on. Hold on, man. Wait, let's read chapter 7, verse 11 through 12 again. Allah didn't say the same thing, man. He's retelling the story. And it, he wants, he's retelling the story and he's saying something. I, I I am. He's retelling the story and he's saying the same. He's saying something different. Hold on. Wait a minute. Mm. Surely we and, and, you, and, and Allah has this problem because he's one author. This isn't multiple accounts. This is Allah telling the same story multiple times. And I can bring you more verses where it's different as well. Watch this. What was Adam created from, bro? Chapter 7, verse 11. Surely we created you. Then shaped you. Can you mute up for a second? Can you shoot up? Can you shoot up? Can can you mute up for a second? No worries. Go. Uh, Happy birthday, bro. I'll just go ahead and mute you, man. All right. And just wait until I'm done, please. All right. Surely we created you, then shaped you, then said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. So they all did, but not Iblis, who refused to prostrate with the others. Allah asked him, what prevented you from prostrating when I commanded you? He replied, I am better than he is. You created me from fire and him from clay. This is what uh, this is what Iblis said here. Iblis said, remember, ladies and gentlemen, watch before he starts talking. Iblis said here. You created me from fire and him from clay. But hold on. Allah says Iblis said something different. 
Hold on. In 1761, he says he said something different. And remember when we said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. So they all did, but not Iblis who protested. This is what this is what he's saying. He said, now, should I pro should I prostrate to the one who you have created from mud? Wait a minute. Iblis is asking a question here. Iblis, Iblis wasn't asking a question in 712. He was just telling them why he didn't do it. So wait a minute. Which 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 story is true? Which one, which statement is true, Divu? Wow, bro. Is that the is that the, is that what you got for me, bro? What statement is true? We have two different that's accounts of the same. Me, we have two different that's, accounts that's of the, the we have you, it's like okay, you wait, you you okay, you you wait, you, you wait, you wait till I speak to jump in. You, we have two okay. different accounts <laughs> okay. of one story retold by the same person. Which one is true? Yes, which one is true? Just like how you asked me, which one is true? So it's similar to what you so this is so you're pointing out that this verse is similar, the contradiction in this verse is similar to what I just pointed out to you, right? That's what you're saying. Which one is true? I'm about to answer you, but I want to confirm that you're saying it's similar to what I just showed you. I don't need to confirm anything. Which one is true? <laughs> which one of these stories oh, is true? Oh my god, but they, they the story is true, bro. The story is true. Iblis, Iblis did not prostrate to Adam because he thought he was better than him. I didn't need you to tell me about the story. Which you know Adam these, was made from the which earth. Retelling of the, the story, oh, which God. retelling of the story is true? I don't need you to explain to me what's happening in the story. Did I explain to you what was happening in the accounts that you talked about in the Bible? Or did I explain to you about the accounts and how they coincide with each other? I'm not yeah, asking you, you that. I'm not asking you what you're telling me. I'm asking you which one was true. Please answer the question. Which one was true? Both. What you did was you um, refused and, and explain to how both are true. First, and in, in the end, you re read the whole chapter. So that shows that there was a bit of like um, ruffle over there. But you know what, bro? Like I told you, bro, be sincere with yourself. Read it and just go from there, brother. Sorry if I disrespected you. Happy birthday, brother. And that's me, bro. So are you? So you're okay. not gonna you're not gonna tell me how both of them are true? They both true, bro. He said you created him from clay. You created me from fire. I'm not gonna prostrate to him, and that's what happened. He was proud. Simple. That's not explaining to me how both of them are true. How are both of the okay, stories okay, that are told different okay, true? Bro. <laughs> okay, bro. Happy birthday, brother. Be sincere, brother. <laughs> there we go. That's how he answers. That's how he answers my question, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday. See you later. Alaikum, brother. <laughs> That's how he answers my question, y'all. Happy birthday. See you later. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, y'all. I didn't even boot him. I didn't even boot him. This is how he answered my question. They're both true. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Happy birthday. Goodbye. That's how... That's how they answer the question, y'all. That's how they answer the question. You want to try to press me about the gospel accounts, got refuted. Then when I show you your God can't even tell the same story twice, and he has to add things at when, when he retells it. Oh, I, I, they're both true. Okay, but how are they both true? Did they, did they both happen or what? Or do they coincide? He didn't even try to explain that. Because one of them, Iblis is asking a question, and the second one, Iblis is actually just responding. He's not even asking him a question. Oh, but they're both true. Assalamu alaikum. Happy birthday, brother. Goodbye. Really? Wow. Wow. And then there's another one, too. I think it's a uh, chapter two. Yeah, I could have pulled up chapter two. Chapter two makes it even worse for him as well, too. Um, let me see. Uh, 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 let me see. Where this verse is also retold in the Quran, and he says something different from all of the other ones as well. 
I can't find it right now, but those two were clear as day. Uh, clear as day, Allah is retelling the story and he's saying something different. He's telling you what Iblis said and Iblis said something different both times. Yeah, man, that's crazy. I can't even believe that. That's how he answered my question, y'all. They're both true. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Happy birthday. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got going on on TikTok, y'all. See if we get some action on TikTok. That literally give their testimony of faith in their in their deathbeds, and are and these are. paradise immediately without 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 atonement for their sins because when they if someone grew up without if someone grew up not muslim and gave their shahada all of their past sins were forgiven thank you for the birthday wishes i appreciate it deeds thank over. you everybody so i can be a dirty wicked man all the way up until I right can, before you die before, before i die then i take my shahada i'm automatically going to heaven but it has to be before the of death touches you, you right so so die. why so why does it matter if i pay the card or I feed the hungry as, as long as i do whatever i want to do up until the day i die up until the day i die then i can go to heaven anyway when you because see now you're doing like the hebrews no i'm asking you a question because oh, what, I'm what, 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 no, I'm saying because what y'all always cast aspersion onto the Christian is cast that, on me. But go on. Yeah, that someone else is. You know, we can we can do whatever we want, and then all I gotta say is I believe in Jesus Christ, and I'm going to heaven. Basically, you're saying the same thing that you're yeah, you're, no. you're accusing us for. No, Basically, a, you're saying I can do whatever I, I can send, whatever I want to do. I can do whatever I want to do, but as soon as I take my shahada right before I die, I can go to heaven. See, that doesn't apply to me because I'm Muslim. I don't a word, a like word. Did you give him that word? Did you give him that hadith where it shows uh, about that guy who's being able to go to paradise even if he com uh, committed illegal oh, intercourse oh, and, yeah, and theft? Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't gave it to him yet. I haven't gave we'll, him that one. We'll yet. get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, okay, but, okay. Um, that doesn't that doesn't apply to Muslims. We're 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 forever accountable. Like you know, we're already we've already been given the message. <laughs> Somebody said happy birthday, Avery. It's not. Testify. I'm not Avery, <laughs> man. I'm life. <laughs> that, that's only. I'm the second half of God minds. logic. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate and the birthday wishes. Thank you, Christina, time, for the super chat. Appreciate it. That point at that point, and of course, with sincerity. But do you not see how that's like arbitrary? You know what I'm doing? My buy me a good meal with these super chats, y'all. It's arbitrary. It's Thank all you. It's just <laughs> up to Allah. I mean, it's like I can do what pretty much whatever I want. Now, if you and take, then I take my shahada, and then I, I'm going to heaven, no, if you no take, matter what. If you take it that way, then that that defeats the sincerity part of it. If you if right, you, and that's exactly not, what us Christians be trying to tell y'all. Yes, we can, we can, um, you know, accept Jesus Christ into our life. But if we don't put in the actual uh, follow the commandments, we're going to hell. It's one thing to say something with your mouth, but it's it's about your action. Oh, really, DJ? You sent the super chat. See, this is what we be trying to tell y'all. Yes, yes, Jesus came and, and, and oh, and he did. I didn't even see that. My bad. Alive and people. Thank you for the super chat, DJ, like, my boy. Uh, you said what word? What'd you say? We finished. I said you pull that hadith up. Uh, yeah, DJ actually pulls it up. Hey, DJ, DJ's in my YouTube live chat right now. DJ, uh, give me that hadith in the chat really quick. Uh, about the the even if you committed illegal uh, <laughs> intercourse and theft, <laughs> where they asked him like three times, bro. Uh, give me that one real quick, yeah. uh, DJ. And you know, and you know, and you know the reason why you can come up out of hellfire because you you will be eventually replaced with a Jew and a Christian. I showed you this time. I told you this last time we talked this story. You showed me that yes. You showed me that yesterday, and yeah, I heard I, I heard the uh, the refutation for that. That was right. Uh, so 
that, that's that was, what's uh, going to get you that, out of hellfire. That, no, no, that was disproven. That that was specifically to Jews and Christians that believed at one point, and then disbelieved. I'm talking two thousand years ago, and and it, it's a specific tense. It has nothing to do with today. It doesn't apply to. That does not apply to what you think it applies. See, see, interpreting hadith is, is obviously a lot. There's, there's so, more so you're saying hadith. that was only for the Muslims back then? No, no. That was that was specific to two people, right? The context, the context of the hadith. What was before that? I didn't read into it. I just heard that refutation. I found that it. debunked it. So. It doesn't. It doesn't mean what you're claiming it means. Hey, I found I it. Uh, it. I found it. Where is Sahih Bukhari fifty eight twenty seven? It doesn't line up with with common sense. So if it doesn't line up with common sense, right off the bat, you got to look into it further. You can't just assume. You can't just assume it means what you interpret it to mean. And then, of course, to read the the verse. So before history. Are you giving us uh, your own tafsir of the hadith? Uh, because any hadith that I've ever read when it says the Jews and the Christians would be your savior from the hellfire, even in the 110 hadith Qudsi, it doesn't say the Jews and the Christians of a specific time. So are you... I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So now, so now yeah, you're... Because in context, that, that that's not what the hadith says. It doesn't say anything about for a specific time or anything like that. The way you're interpreting it inherently hey, is a hey, word. Unjust. Word. You so want me to read? You want me to read the hadith real quick? What you're interpreting it to be? I, yeah, listen, I'm not really. I, I, I pulled it up. I pulled it up. Um, but if you want to read it, you can go ahead. I'll, I'll show it on the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna read it on. I'm gonna read it on 5827 real quick. Hold on, real quick, history. Yeah, go ahead. All right, it says, I came to the prophet while he was wearing white clothes and sleeping. Then I went back to him again after he had got up from his sleep. He said, nobody says, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And then later on, he dies while believing in that, except that he will enter paradise. I said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even he, even if he had committed illegal sexual course and theft, I said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, then he says it again. I said, even if he had committed illegal sexual course intercourse and theft, he said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, in spite of Abu Dar's dislike, Abu Abdullah said, this is at the time of death or before it is one the, uh, or before it if one repents and regrets and says none has the right to be worshipped but Allah he will be forgiven of his sins so you can go on living a living a sinful life man as long as you say none is to be worshipped but Allah man you you in there you in the dough you good that's to go man sincerity. yeah no that's without sincerity see that judgment is up to God that's not up to you you, you and good I. to go only man. God knows what's in your hearts only God knows what's in your hearts that how you interpret it, that's um, that's a hypocritical belief. Uh, yeah, I could sin and then I wait until that wait until I'm old, of old age and then I'll then I'll repent. No, you gotta start repenting from now. I mean, and, and at the end of the day, none of us here can say which sins God forgives us for and which sins He doesn't. And 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 also it goes back to the point I made earlier: where you're going doesn't necessarily mean where you're gonna end up. So if you if you die at least in that belief, even if you're a sinner, if you die in the belief of, of, of monotheism, of one God, one creator, you are promised what the topic is, eternal life in heaven. However, you met, you will have to atone for your sins before that. And you either do that in this life or hereafter. So and if, if you do it in this life, that's from obviously asking for forgiveness um whatever the punishment is and and i think yeah the punishment for fornication is 80 lashes or 100 lashes you can go you go to constable listen i committed adultery can you set me up for some lashes so i don't have to pay for it and 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 hellfire you could that's how 
That's where atonement comes into play. Make sense? All, all I'm hearing is an articulated way to say Allahu Allah. Only Allah knows. This no, is what I'm. This is what I'm. This is this is basically what I'm hearing. So, so what did what did, what part did you not what part did you not agree with or what I said? Because you don't you don't know even if you like you just said even if you um, are pious or whatever and you end up unaliving or you know what I'm saying going to heaven or hell you you're going to end up paying for your sins. But what if Allah decided not not to even take you out of hellfire? What is the guarantee? Once you're in that hellfire, you will come out of that hellfire. The, the the guarantee is the is the belief is the belief in the one god the creator that's that's the guarantee and not worshiping idols not worshiping men or statues or 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 po polytheism that's the guarantee that you'll end up in heaven it doesn't mean to say you're going straight to heaven after you die you still have to atone for your sins whether you atone for them in this life or the next life but this hadith says that you will you won't enter i mean that this hadith says that you'll enter paradise and literally just no it does it, it doesn't it says that you will enter paradise but it doesn't say that you will not enter hellfire because other hadith and, and chapters in the quran say that everyone will taste hellfire everyone will taste hellfire. right 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 but okay so so i know i understand that part about the quran but what i'm saying is is that in this hadith you you have a a ticket to paradise just by this it's statement al just by this statement alone this is what your hadith is telling right. us your hadith is telling us that even just before you die you could have committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft and then as long as you say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and then you say, well, you have to fully believe in that. Well, I'm sure that person's going to fully believe in that if he wants to go to paradise. Boom. If he knows that man, you know, if I'm, if, if, if I'm out here, if I'm out here messing up and I'm out here, you know, fooling around. But I do believe in God. And I know that, you know, just before I go, you know, just before I go out, I can just, you know, say that he's the only one to be worshipped, you know, and I sincerely believe that. Well, then, yeah, you know, I'm going to have a ticket to paradise. Like, this is literally what the verse is doing. This is literally what anyone who reads this will kind of get. Like, so I see what you're saying, but the stuff that you're saying outside of the verse doesn't really make sense. Like, you're kind of adding to it. You know what I mean? Like, you're saying, well, he has to sincerely believe that. But what are the bases of sincerely believing? Like, do you sincerely believe Allah is one? Because, I mean, I think anybody would yeah. sincerely believe that if they wanted to go to paradise. They sincerely believe. Is this logic or, or life? Both. What's up, logic and life? Are right, you two <laughs> in one? His life, what's Hallelujah. up? Hallelujah. La ilaha illallah. It's the same thing. It's your Lord, my Lord is one. There's no Lord other than worship the one. Yes, as long as you believe in that, that is your ticket to paradise. However, it does not take you away from atoning, from atonement. You still have to pay your dues. See, this is accountability. And this is this is the difference. We 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 believe in accountability. We hold ourselves accountable. But you're contradicting the hadith, though. The hadith says you will enter paradise. Yes, you'll enter paradise. So will you enter paradise, or will you not enter paradise? But be, you will enter paradise. But you okay, will great. So atoning for your sins doesn't matter because you'll enter paradise. This is what the hadith is stating. By by your by your interpretation, not by every Muslim. Take Everyone them knows them. we're all going to touch. Everyone's going to touch ha the hellfire. Every soul will touch the hellfire. Okay. Can Even you give a me? A, can you give me an explanation? Yeah, DJ, you took it right out of my out of my mind, man. That comment popped up. I was gonna ask you, what do you mean by atonement? You, you can atone for your atonement own sins. Is, atonement is paying for your sins. If I'm not, if I'm using the term incorrectly. And how, and how do you do that? I'm asking you. Is that is that the right definition? I don't know. Muslims have different definitions for different things. Can you give me your Islamic no, no, definition of atonement. What, I'm asking you what the what the definition of Christianity for atonement. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to give you the Christian definition. What is the Muslim definition? Because right, you guys so, like to so play I'll, with words a little bit. So, so we we use the same words. We're speaking in English. It's hard to translate it, but it's maqbara. It's forgiveness. Uh, and it's it's paying. It's paying. You get earned forgiveness by two ways: asking for it or paying for the sin. How do and you pay if for it's it? A sin committed upon someone else. If, you you repay your debt if you uh, yeah yeah no 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 telling me that you pay for it 
And then when I say, how do you pay for it? You say you repay if you're dead. That's not answering the question. How do you, how do you, how do you atone for your own sin? It depends on the sin. Every sin is different. Okay. How, okay. 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 Give me a list on how you atone. Distory. Some sins are committed against others. Distory. Give me, dis, distory. Give me a list on how you atone for your own sin, no matter which one it is. It can be the highest one. It can be the smallest one. Give me a list on how you do that. How do you do that? I'll give you an example. Adultery and porn, adultery, the punishment for adultery is 80 lashes or 100 lashes, whatever it is in, in Surah Nisa. So you're going to get so, 80 lashes when you, you already did? <laughs> what, what are you no, talking about, bro? No, just, no, that's it. You're talk that happens either in in life, and if and if you don't go through it in life, it's you'll go through it in the hereafter. And no, that's in the hellfire. That's the wow. In the hellfire is worse than punishment. On wow, y'all, y'all hear that? You get eighty lashes in hellfire, y'all. No, you get eighty lashes here on earth. Okay, so all Muslims are going to hell, and so all Muslims are going to hell and getting punished. For a while, because every man has sin, every woman has sin on this earth. So every, every last soul. Muslim believe. So 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 you're saying every last believer, right, of the Muslim faith, is going to hell and is going to receive punishment. Every and then once soul. and then once they and then once they finish paying for for, for their sins, then they get to go to paradise. That's what you're saying. Every soul will test. Well, every soul will taste the fire. And yes, correct. Depending on the good word, let me ask you a question. Crazy, bro. Let, I don't, yeah, I, I don't want to be no Muslim, man. Hey, that's hey, accountability, history, and that's history, what you're afraid history, of. This time. History, history. Okay. hold ourselves accountable. History. Let me ask you a question. You said okay. the eighty lashes, right? They'll get eighty lashes 80 for, what, for what? For what? Twenty-six ninety-eight. Yes. No, no, no. Okay, the okay. first uh, Nisat. Uh, I think it's chapter three. Okay. Chapter three. It's on the first page. All right, now listen. Hear me out closely. Huh. Allah already passed down a law or a punishment for you on earth. The 80 to 100 lashes for it. But then when you die, mm -hmm. you already you already atoned for that sin that you're trying to say with the 80 no. lashes. If, but if then, you didn't take those oh, lashes. Hold on, let me, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me Go finish. Ahead. Me. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So whenever you die... You go back, you go into hellfire to also atone for that adultery as well. So you're going to get double punishment. You're going to get one on earth Mike and is one, one in hell. No, if you take it on earth and suffering also, yeah, forgiveness comes with suffering. Mike, so is that the right you one? Hurt, you, got, you lost your leg. You know, there, there's different kinds of punishments that God will give you on earth, but that you will get forgiveness out of. And no, no, if you punish, if you get punished for it now, you pay for, pay your debts. And in, in, in this life, you will not, you will not be. Then at that point, it's paid for. Why would you pay for it again? You, you, you got a, you got a, you got a verse or a deed or something to back you up. It, it's just common knowledge. I, I can send it to you. Ah, uh, that's, that's 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 kind of clear. I trust me, bro. It's elementary. It's that's, elementary. That's, that's trust me, bro. That's accountability. I mean, no, it's not. I'll send it to you if you want. But bro, if, listen. If you really want to know about it, I'll send it to you. Okay, history. This is what I'm saying. When we make claims out of our Bible, y'all be wanting to see it. Y'all be want to see wow. the verse. Oh, show me where Jesus said he was God. Show oh, me man. where um you getting um you know um he died for your sins. Show me I'm, this, show me that. So I'm just asking, I'm just putting the shoe on the other foot. Show me not, this. Listen, when you tell me something about what you believe, I take your word for it. And then I could tell you about what I believe. And you don't have to take my word for it, but this is what I believe. And if you want, if you want scripture, no, but we're not talking about what you believe. You later, but this is elementary. No, but we're not. We're not okay. But no, no, no. We, we but but history, man. That's not fair, yeah. dude. We we when we up here talking about scripture, we up here talking about religion, man. You gotta at least give us a source, man. You can't say, well, it's what I believe. I'll get, I'll get it. I'll get it for you. No, no I'm just, I'm telling you in that sense where I'm not knocking what you're telling me. You, you know that that's the whole point of having a discussion. You could tell me what I what you believe, and I'll tell you what I believe. And for me, it's more like it, it's a discussion. If you want the actual scriptural text as why do we believe that, I'll pull it up for you. But I, it's, it's you know I can't do it in the, in, the, in a few seconds as we're talking here. But that's my logic.
<laughs> you need to turn that warm light on, man. You look like you sitting up there in the dark, my dude. I'm trying to figure out how I did that. Goat status. <laughs> yeah, man. see so look y'all i'm gonna get logic i'm gonna get logic some game on the on the on the you know on the live stream all right so look so you know the app i told you to download so you use that app right yeah and then so you even, do you want to open it up interpret it i wouldn't even the way you've interpreted it and it's i don't know how to lower it how do i lower their volume unjust. hold on Okay, and it doesn't lie in okay, to where go. All right, cool. you know justice. It so look, fall into so the framework of justice. So what it'll do is, is make sense. So you gotta look is it'll it it'll it'll, it'll it'll pop up like this. Okay, so so going and back it's to full, this you know, earlier when you were saying that, and then what you do is is you just um, you minimize it, and then move the sides. To, uh, to uh, see? Uh, yeah, right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, you clever. I'm going to the conclusion. So you move the sides. You're going to be in hellfire. And then once you get the sides moved, uh, for your then sins. you know you can start right here filling it up with Google searches right and to, uh, have your little Quran, your little websites right here on the side. Or you know you uh, can just put it on the blank side accepted. of your screen, and then you can kind of just basically kind of stream like this a little bit, unalive, or have it like this, or you know have the other person with deal. you, or you know even what I mean. To be honest, you'll be doing solos though, so you'll be looking like this. And then, he so you can kind of still have it streamed, and people amongst, you know, so it won't look weird, and you can kind of just have something else in the background judgment. if you want. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but the sound. So the reason why you don't have an echo is because of your headphones. Huh? These are some of the worst people. They got a lot of What did I just do? And Allah would forgive. All right, so let me mute this so I can turn you back up because I can't hear you. Um, <clears throat> I said the reason why that your sound was good is because of your headphones, huh? Yes. So the reason why it sounded good, the reason why you can hear the TikTok stream, which is here perfectly on the phone, is because the audio is being driven. So we got the same speakers. So plug your headphone jack into the speakers. Into the speakers, not the mic. No, not not in, not into the mic. Not plug into the computer. The, no, into into the speakers. Into the speaker. Yeah, the speaker, cause okay, <laughs> and then you'll be able to hear them. So as I as I bring it back up, you'll see. Sure. You can hear them. You I can see me. Let, let me come. Mm, let me see what we can do. We there we go. So you can hear them, and you can see me, and then watch. So now the reason why they can't hear me on TikTok that every is because I have the hellfire. It so when a verse oh, I have comes it on, out saying uh, I have it on mute here. Heaven, it yeah. So you no longer have to stream TikTok the way you were streaming it. That you will eventually enter. And heaven, then like now let earlier. me ask you this: Just because tell me you're going some where you're tell going me if you can still hear and the where TikTok you're up is to, can on your yeah, hear the TikTok. Oh uh, no, not yet, not yet. But where does it say that in this hadith? Because I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Can you still hear it? Yeah. Like I said, you haven't. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, it doesn't right have to be, you know, uh, fully. So backing up your claims with, 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 with basically with just leave it up. The you see Christian what I'm saying? Thing, as long as it's up, it you'll be able to hear it. Doesn't, yeah. But doesn't if you follow, if you, you know, try the, the, to the, the once you minimize it, you can't hear it anymore. Right. So pages can be in front of it. You can kind of pull it in front of uh, your screens and stuff like that. And then you'll be able to directly talk to people so on TikTok a bit more directly from YouTube. But and then their audio is going to be so clear. You your out. audio is going to be sure clear. And it's going to gonna also be all be happening and in real time. No, so, they really haven't. Have nobody okay, really so. I, I, I've got a whole. Yeah. So when you. um. 
Can you show me the hadith again, brother? When you... No, the previous one, not this one. Uh, like you. So when you unmute your mic on, on TikTok, mm -hmm. do you have to mute your current mic or no? I hear Muslim no. what? 2767B. Hey, the word. So he Muslim too. Wait, real, uh, hey, real quick, my bad, y'all. Real quick, my bad. Hey, word. What's up? Me and Logic trying something out. You can hear me clear? Yeah, you sound good, bro. Yep. All right, cool. Go ahead. Y'all good. See, I didn't. I didn't mute this. This was. This was the same audio. So what's happening is, is this audio is going straight into Streamyard. It's going straight into the computer. They said that a Jew and a Christian. This audio is going straight into TikTok and Hellfire. But remember, it's streaming both platforms at the same time in real time. You're gonna make me look it up. You see. Huh? No, so, I never, I, uh, oh, one I thing is too, like, you're gonna need to turn. Uh, you're gonna need to turn your TikTok device audio all the way Just, down. Uh, this hadith, uh, and I'll show you why. Aside. Look, because uh, if you see, it's contradicting the Quran. Versus, you see, so, so if I turn it down on my iPad, hadith, then the audio is still gonna be max volume uh, on the computer. You have to, uh, then which is why you should put just, headphones on. Exactly. Okay. So the audio coming out so, of your speakers will go into your headphones and then you won't be able to hear double connections between everybody. No. Get you some smaller headphones even too. The Quran says, even if you follow everything, <laughs> you pray, you give zakat. Yeah, but that's 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 basically how you do it, bro. So then now, now your TikTok streams and your YouTube streams, you can have all type of content now, challenging Muslims on TikTok. And then boom. Everybody can just watch you go crazy on TikTok, real time, good audio. You know what I mean? This one goes on on the in the back here, y'all. The mechanic, <laughs> the mechanic, man. You know, uh, I'm the superintendent. <laughs> hey, man, you gonna need to get you some new headphones, cause them too big, man. <laughs> Ain't go <laughs> if you was really stream, just imagine you really streaming with those, bro. Like them is huge, bro. So, 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 get back to the verse then. No, no, no. Let's get back to the what? Hold on, what? Get back, get back to the verse. Yeah, these <laughs> these are not stylish. Obnoxious, bro obnoxiously huge man yeah even even these right here i mean these they are all right they they super small so they're not you know, they're not doing too much but i'm gonna get some wireless ones where i could plug in and i could just have a little wireless head earbuds so then i could you know i don't headsets are cool but only only in gaming <laughs> yeah. but yeah man what time okay. is it about about three minutes 7 30 just just right on time uh, about a two hour stream. I gotta get ready to pack, man. I gotta I gotta get on this flight, y'all. Ah, about to go hang out for my birthday, man. You gonna be all right? You gonna be all right, logic? You gonna you'll be good. I don't know, man. I'm trying to find somebody else on Fiverr right now to do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey I man, need, look, logic need, looking to hire somebody, 10 day contract, man. Email them. 10 day contract man you got to be able to draw you got to be able to graphic design you got to be able to make thumbnails you got to be, be good with audio tech you got to be good with audio tech you got to be able to come over and just like show stuff you know you know easily at will um <laughs> and you got to you got to be like low key funny too you know, like make the whole experience better you gotta be low key. Fun. Yeah, you can't. You can't come over serious as a heart attack. You can't come over serious. I don't, I don't do serious. I'm serious. So look, <laughs> man, ten day contract, man. You know what I'm saying? Logic looking for a, a graphic designer. He's looking for an audio engineer. He's looking for an artist. You need to know how to make thumbnails. Uh, you need to be be uh, smart. You need to know how to use YouTube analytics and content. Um, 
Yeah, that's it. You need not to do all five of those things. Ten days, man. You're hired. Somebody said, he said, I can draw. <laughs> said, I can draw. Go ahead and email Logic, man. What you doing, man? You about to go live? I need some entertainment, bro, while I'm waiting on my flight, dude. Go live or something. Hook me up. Oh, connection cut out. All right, y'all. I'm going to head out, man. I got to get, get prepared for this flight. I appreciate everybody for the birthday wishes. Uh, appreciate everybody for the birthday super chats, man. I really, you know, go buy me some food with that or something like that, man. I appreciate that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. It was a really interesting live stream. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm about to go have some fun for my birthday, man. I've been working, putting in a lot of work on these channels. And uh, yeah, I'm tired, man. So I'm about to go chill, relax on the beach and some, and some sun and uh, have a lot of fun. All right, y'all. Peace out. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night.